Hey guys, Stan Bricks, and guys, we got some exciting news right here for Berserk News. I know I'm a little bit late talking about some of these right here. I'm so sorry for that. Um, I actually got some time right now to record. So here is, of course, the new products I wanted to talk about a little while ago. And this right here is the 1-6 scale Griffith from 3-0. And out the bat, this thing right here looks incredible. We finally got the fully uh, figure, of course, painted right here, and it looks great. Um, the armor right here looks awesome. The color for it looks really good, especially with the brown, of course, with the leather. And, of course, material-wise right there, very very, very good um right here you can see the little bit of the helmets and you can see a little bit more of of course the detail of the portrait this next photo does have a feature of the helmet going up and of course you can see griffith and that looks great um looks pretty good but maybe i would say the expression kind of looks weird on griffith but then again it probably looks better right here with of course the closed face um i'm just really hoping there will be different of course expressions for griffith um that'd be really awesome another thing is i'm kind of hoping is that you could take off the head right here and add just a standard griffith head and that'd be really really cool More most likely will pose it like that if of course it get, this gets released pretty soon so i'm really excited for this one hopefully the pre-order does come up pretty soon my guess in a couple weeks or most likely months for pre-order i want to say maybe around maybe next month is my guess usually the pre-orders don't take too long from 3-0 um i could be wrong but as of right now i'm just super excited for this figure hopefully um the price point's not too crazy my guess around maybe 150 to 250 at most it just matters for accessories and of course if it does come with different of course portraits for this figure Figure. But minus that, pretty great looking figure, very, very good. Um, we got one more, of course, figure right here from uh, Medicos. Medicos did announce a little while ago, I want to say it's been several months now, I think it was beginning of the year, that they did get the license for Berserk. Um, so far, there's no figure yet, uh, as of course, with of course joints and everything. Uh, we are getting some kind of statue right here, and this is incredible looking. This thing right here looks awesome. This is going to be a 1-7 scale right here. Um, this is, of course, so far a prototype, most likely in a couple weeks or maybe in San Comic Con we actually might get the prototype and of course displayed and everything and I gotta say this thing right here is awesome there's one little thing I would definitely say I'm not the biggest fan I'm kind of confused by it's this is kind of giving me an Odin one piece of course vibe right here that is hand of course just launching forward or I'm um, holding the of course the dragon slayer I kind of wish that the hand was kind of like with the cannon I kind of wish it was that kind of feature I'm kind of hoping there is going to be a swap off for the cannon part because that makes more sense in my opinion as of this I don't remember him really doing this pose that much. I could be wrong. Uh, I have read the manga twice, so I guess we'll wait and see for that. I'll probably have to see if some shots if he actually does this. Uh, but still, I think it looks great. The dragons looks really cool. Um, of course, the base right here with all the weapons and like that looks great. Again, very, very exciting for this figure. I'm um, just really hoping uh, it's a great looking figure. Hopefully, we get it pretty soon. Here's some more shots of, of course, of the figure here. Again, this is just a render. Uh, most likely in a couple weeks or months, we'll probably see it fully, of course, up close and everything but super super exciting can't wait for more stuff i'm really curious to see if they're also going to do a figure of a regular one same thing as the jojo ones but i guess we'll wait and see for that but that's of course all the news right there just want to talk about these new of course two berserk products right here again if there's any more berserk products updates or of course news i'll let you guys know for sure but hope you guys enjoy tell me down below of course your thoughts about these two figures which one are you guys going to get of either one of these in my opinion most likely would definitely get two of these again it also matters for price point for this one right here um these usually one seven scale figures sometimes go up to 100 to 200 to 300 even more sometimes um, especially guts right here is a bigger character so i could definitely see this one being pretty pricey but i guess we'll wait and see but i hope you guys enjoyed see you next time bye